getting extra rest? Are there many more of these questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You wanted to see me? I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. What did you hear? Dr. Fillmore's report was quite thorough. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their pension for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause, but by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. If I've done something to jeopardize the Institute, I'll fix it. You have my word. I have no doubt that you will. But it's nothing quite so dire. While you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve the situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Mr. Wallace, despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. That ended abruptly. Okay, so I think I've more or less decided that I'm going to stick with the in Institute on this playthrough. Um, so... Oh, god damn. Playing so many different games, I'm forgetting the controls. Uh, alright. Where am I going? Oh, there it is. Reach the house, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna pause the video. I uh, will pick it back up when I get there. Okay, I'm back. Who the hell are you? <clears throat> oh boy, you may want to keep your distance. Why? Are you threatening me? Nah, nothing like that. It's just, well, I think I ate a bad can of meat. <sighs> Okay, maybe it was three cans. Seemed pretty tasty at first, but now it's got my guts all in a twist. And, well, you can probably smell it from there. Long Neck Lukowski's canned meat my ass. Long Neck Lukowski's canned poison, more like it. Here, have the rest of it. I'm never touching the stuff again as long as I live. Assuming I live through the day. Ugh. And if you happen to see that, Lukowski... Tell him I hope he dies in a goddamn fire. Oh, God. Sorry. Probably better if you get going. If it's anything like last time, it's about to get kind of messy. The fuck? Okay, well, that was interesting. Anyway, so in the meantime, before I came here, I dropped off some shit, sold some shit, and I was reading that a good way to make money is to be a moisture farmer so huh. so I went back to uh, sanctuary and I built a whole 
fuckload of um, water generator things. Ooh, oil can. Antifreeze, ooh, there's all kinds of shit here. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna get on with the show. Talk hey, to this Joe. guy. What's hey, going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? I'm not sure you know what's going on here. This situation is complicated. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. These assholes think they can kidnap whoever they want, whenever they want. Well, not today. Not while we're here. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure them out here, since it'd be easier to kill them. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're going to take that poor guy wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you going to order the attack or not? This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. The Institute wants the same things you do. We can find a way to work together. I don't know about that, but look, if nothing else, you'd best get in there and make sure that man's okay. I'll make sure no one makes a move on him in the meantime. But, well, you'd better be right about this. So, you're not an idiot. Uh, thanks, I guess. No, I, I didn't mean like, I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. Wait, become you? Like, replace you? <gasps> oh, is Nat a synth? Oh, well, there's something I'm gonna lose sleep over for days, but no, not like a synth. More like she's gonna start following in my perilous footsteps. I knew what you meant, Piper. Think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister, dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough. She'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You don't get to decide who Nat's gonna be, Piper. She does. All you decide is whether you want to be a part of her life or not. You're right. She's her own person and always will be. Thanks, Blue. Could expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well. They really don't make them like you anymore. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Word. Just friends, huh? But a friend for life. Or <laughs> at least as long as you don't start annoying me. But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, where am I? Oh, man. She's got some glowing rifle shit going. Alright, people. Oh, thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. Everything's taken care of. You're safe. Good, good. It was bad enough that Wallace started giving us trouble, but then he called in those savages. Those are good men out there. 
You have no right to insult them like that. Those good men of yours wanted to kill me. Forgive me for not thinking terribly highly of them. Can we just get on with this, please? I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. Seems like another miscalculation to me. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. What does this Wallace guy have to do with Phase 3? Wallace is, well, brilliant by all accounts. Like nothing we'd seen in the Commonwealth prior. He truly has a gift when it comes to theoretical physics. He'd be an asset to the Institute, specifically in getting the reactor running. With his help, we could accelerate the timetable immensely. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. All right. So where the hell is he? Upstairs? Well, there's a class. Oh, here we go. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? I mean you no harm. No one here does, all right? We're just here to talk. You're not stealing my organs, or shooting me into space, or whatever it is you do. I won't <coughs> let you. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. What can I say to convince you that we are not going to hurt you? That you're leaving and never coming back. Mm. Hey, hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. If I wanted to talk, I wouldn't be in here. Now just, just go away. Right. We're here to steal your kidneys and your memories. That's why I'm wasting time talking to you through the door. That's not funny. None of this is funny. Shut up and listen to me. We're not here to hurt you. But if you make this difficult, you're gonna regret it. Okay, all right. What do you want from me? Why are you here? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... That sounds good. Okay, fine. I'll go. You must be pretty excited being named the next director. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean... Thanks for the assist. You're going to bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want him to start second-guessing the decision. I'll see you back in the Institute. Okay. Good job, everybody. So, I'm gonna head on back. See what Father has to say about all this. Okay, so I came back to the Institute, found out that I had enough money for this uh, unique helmet. 
it's a synth mark II. um but i also found out that that was the end of that other mission so i'm gonna end this video here and start the next mission um i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time